if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs little series and guna madhivanan from offices ias academy in this video we are going to discuss about agni p before understanding about uh, agni p let's understand about missiles okay two category of missiles i would like to explain one is the cruise missile another one is the ballistic missile cruise missile and ballistic missile let me explain first ballistic missiles these are missiles ballistic missiles are missiles it will be launched with an up thrust it will be launched with an up thrust it will fall back under the influence of gravity so it reaches it reaches a point it reaches a point and then it will fall back under the influence of gravity right this is uh, ballistic missile concept but cruise missile here from the point of launch it can be maneuvered it can be you know uh, direction can be changed and it can fall back at the precise destination so what is the difference between cruise and ballistic missile ballistic missile will be launched with an up thrust it will fall back under the influence of gravity since it falls back under the influence of gravity you cannot navigate it okay you cannot navigate it is going to fall back in a particular place you cannot navigate that point you cannot change that point all right so the precision is not going to be so exact right it's like you you throw a stone it will go to a point based on your thrust it will fall back under the influence of gravity you cannot change the direction that is the concept in ballistic missile cruise missile is not like that it is a guided missile you launch it you can guide through the entire process the precision will be precise you can change the target this is the basic difference between ballistic and cruise missile okay in india example for ballistic missile is agni series agni 1 agni 2 agni 3 the powerful is agni 5 right agni 5 can go and cover a distance of 5000 plus kilometers it can go and cover a distance of 5000 plus kilometers that means i launch at this point it will fall back at a distance of 5000 plus kilometers example for cruise missile in india brahmos brahmos so brahmos is a collaborative effort of india and russia b r a h refers to brahmaputra m o s refers to moskova river okay so brahmaputra moskova india russia it's a collaborative effort of india and russia so brahmos cruise missile it has a range of 290 kilometers this range of 290 kilometers generally this ballistic missiles range will be higher are you clear here i would like to add some more static information what is that see when the range when the range is more than 5500 plus kilometers when the range is when the missile range is more than 5500 kilometers we will call that the missile as intercontinental missile intercontinental ballistic missile that is icbm when the missile has a range of more than 5500 kilometers we will call that missile as intercontinental ballistic missile icbm when the range is between 500 kilometers to 5500 kilometers when the range is between 500 to 5500 we will call it as we will call that missile as intermediate range missile intermediate range missile intermediate range means the range of the missile is between 500 to 5500 if the missile range is more than 5500 we will call it as icbm intercontinental ballistic missile 
Now coming to our topic Agni P. So Agni P is a ballistic missile. Agni P is a ballistic missile. It is not a cruise missile. Agni P. P refers to prime. Okay. It's a ballistic missile. Now how Agni P is different from uh, other ballistic missiles? See if you take ballistic missiles, look at this image. This is an example. This is a ballistic missile. So the missiles will be taken. This is an Agni missile. The missile will be taken through a truck. The missile will be taken through a truck. It will be launched from a truck. Missile will be taken through a truck. Missile will be launched from a truck. So now what happens is, the missile is carried, the Agni missile, okay, the missile is carried in open air. If there is going to be any accident, if there is going to be any accident, then there is a chance of this missile getting damaged. There is a chance of missile getting exploded. That can have a serious repercussions. So this Agni missile is taken in open air in the truck. So these Agni missiles can get affected because of let's say for example landslide. Okay, let's say because of some other explosion accident, it can have serious consequences. So under the Agni P, under the Agni P, what we are going to do? In Agni P, what we are going to do is, we are going to put this missile inside a cylinder. We are going to put this missile inside a cylinder. So Agni P is a canisterized missile. So we will put that, we will take that missile inside a can. We will take that missile inside a can. So inside this can only you will find or inside this cylinder only, you will have this Agni missile. Even some accident has, it is protected. Another cool feature of this Agni P missile is, see, now, so when the missile is launched, when Agni missile, when the missile, any missile is launched, there is going to be a hot launch, there is going to be a hot launch. So it will be ignited at the bottom, there is going to be lot of heat and fire generated and the upthrust will be created, the missile will take off. Are you able to understand? The missile will take off. There will be a hot launch. So there will be huge fire will be generated at the bottom, huge heat. Sometimes there is a chance that the missile can explode at that point itself because of the huge temperature created. There is a chance of that missile getting exploded at that point itself. So anything can happen. So anything can happen to the people in that location. Are you able to understand? Hot launch is nothing but a Diwali rocket. We keep a fire at the bottom. It is going to take off. Many a times we have noticed the Diwali rocket will blast at the point on the ground itself. If that happens, you will get hurt. Similar thing can happen here. So in Agni Prime, we have an improvement. In Agni Prime, we have an improvement. What is it? So, The missile, the missile right, will be having a gas chamber. There will be a gas chamber. Okay, imagine there will be a gas chamber. Right here we have the missile, there will be a gas chamber. This gas chamber, okay, is going to release gas first. It is going to release gas first. That ga the released gas, that is going to create an upthrust. The released gas, it will not be ignited. You will not see fire, there will be a cold launch, there will be a cold launch. Why I am calling it as cold launch? Because here there is going to be a gas chamber at the bottom. The gas chamber is going to, through a small nozzle, it is at a high pressure, it will send the gas out. So that is going to create a lift, that is going to create a lift for the, lift for the missile. So let's say the missile now reaches this point, through that through that gas lift only, the missile reaches a higher point. Now from this higher point, it will be ignited, there will be a hot launch from which it will take off. Are you clear? So now what is the advantage? What did I say? The missile usually, usually, 
usually there will be a hot launch it will be ignited at the bottom you will find lot of fire and heat that is going to create a very high temperature there is a chance of explosion happening at this point but in Agni P what happens is there will be already it is covered by a can okay remember already it is covered by a can so here you will have a gas chamber that gas chamber will give the initial lift initial lift will be given so the missile reaches a particular altitude it reaches a height from that point it is going to release lot of uh, heat and fire it will be ignited from this point it will fly faster so even it explodes at this point people in the ground are safe okay got it so this is about the agni prime <coughs> So, the longest Agni series is ICBM which I have explained. <coughs> so, I have mentioned about nuclear triad. Nuclear triad means we, we India have achieved the capacity of launching the nuclear bomb from ground, from water, from air. From ground, from water, from air. That is from land we can launch a nuclear missile, from water submarine we can launch a nuclear missile, from air we can launch a nuclear missile, these are basics, these are basics. Okay, Agni P starts here, this is for your just in general information. So Agni P is an advanced variant, it is a canisterized missile which have a range of 1000 to 2000 kilometers. So I said Agni P is a canisterized missile, so it will be like this. It will be like this, the missile will be taken like this. So that will be a cold launch initially. Then after that, we will be having the hot launch. Okay. I hope you understood the concept. Why it was the news? DRDO was flight testing this uh, Agni P missile. That's why it was the news. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye. Take care.